Hey Leos, and welcome to your July monthly reading for you and your person. So we'll look at the mutual energies, how you both feel about each other and the outcome. We'll also pull cards for singles, okay? So doing a bit of a mashup, okay, when it comes to reading. Here we go. For Leos who are involved with someone, dating, married, engaged, you know, you, you talking to somebody. Somebody is in your life, okay? <laughs> For Leos, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, messages for Leos and their person for this month. What do they need to hear and know for this month? What's the mutual between the two of you? A burden. Oh, feeling overwhelmed. Feeling overwhelmed in this connection. How do you feel about this person? Seven of Swords. You want to run away? You, you're trying to get away? Okay. Um, hiding feelings, hiding things, being sneaky. Mm -hmm. And how do they feel about you? Chariot. Okay. So this person feels the same way. They want to move on. Both tired of this connection. Mm. Okay. Wow. This is just this bit of a heavy feeling some of you could be dealing with a cancer that's for some of you with their major arcana coming out we also have air sign energy and fire sign energy and then what's the mutual uh for the outcome what's the potential outcome here manifesting magician gemini energy is here could be dealing with the gemini doesn't have to be so let's get into the spread and see why is this energy here for Leos and their person? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why are you both feeling like this is a burden or this is hard work? Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, the Hermit. So communication between you and your person may not be the best. Communication may be a struggle. It may be hard to understand each other with the Ace of Swords coming out. Communication is off, okay? Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, communication, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a child um, or someone could be acting childish, but some of you have a child with this person and maybe uh, the communication with children is hard or the two of you are having a struggle raising the kids, something like that. That's for some of you who have children. Uh, the hermit is here. Both of you are going into hermit mode, not really communicating, not really talking. There's a lot of stress in this connection. Lots of stress. Maybe that's not being vocalized, not being verbalized. Okay. I feel the stress at the bottom of the deck is the eight of swords. Both of you keep your feelings to each other. I don't know if you don't want to burden each other, but something it's like the communication is just off with this connection. Why is the seven of swords here for how you feel? The horror font. Okay. Five of cups. Did someone cheat? The eight of wands. Someone could have left this connection or someone is a cheater. You may feel like someone is cheating. Y'all. This is a marriage or a long-term relationship, okay? Remember, I'm talking to the Leos who are involved, okay? When you get the hard font, this is a marriage or this is someone uh, dealing with a long-term relationship. Some of you may be running away from the thought of being married with the Seven of Swords and the hard font. It's like running away from the idea of marriage or not really ready to get married. Five of Cups, there's regret. Some of you regret ever getting married. I feel that energy. If you got married, you regret it. Eight of Wands, you want to get out. Leo wants out of a marriage or out of a long-term relationship. Why are they feeling the chariot toward you? The full energy is here, okay? They want a brand new beginning, some of them could want to start a brand new beginning of some sort. Seven of Wands. They may be blocking something, okay? 
maybe this was supposed to take off, but someone may be feeling, this person may be feeling like now it's not going anywhere. Okay. Death card. Exactly. Scorpio energy could be dealing with the Scorpio or someone with Scorpio in their chart. Death. They feel like this is not going anywhere. So they feel like, like what's the point in taking a leap of faith if it's not going to go anywhere? Okay. Why is the magician here for the outcome? Four of cups, both of you rejecting, manifesting, rejecting each other. Six of cups. You, you two may still have to deal with kids with the six of cups, rejecting each other or someone gets rejected, but still having to deal with the kids or still having that nostalgic feeling about each other. You know how you break up, but it's like, I still love you or I'll always be there for you if you need something. Queen of Pentacles. Yes. So some of you will stay connected to this person, but uh, still date other people. I feel that strongly. It's like some of you are going to reject a current partner and date a new partner. Okay, it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo with the Queen of Pentacles coming in. Yeah, wow, major energy for you and this person. Okay, give us some more insight in this situation. What do we need to know? Wow, look at that. First card to come out, seduction. Seduction, it says attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Like I said, some of you will choose to stay with a partner, but date other people, or they will choose to do this with you, choosing to stay with your partner, but dating other people. There's a third party involved. Engagement ring. Some of you are engaged to this person. Some of you want to propose to someone else. Some of you will receive a proposal from someone else. Okay. Okay. What's the advice here for the, from the angels deck? Beloved one, I'm helping you with your soulmate relationship. The angels are helping you with your soulmate relationship. So I feel like you may not feel like you're with your soulmate. You may be in love with someone else or vice versa. They may be in love with someone else. Okay, but I feel like this is ooh, a sticky, sticky situation. Okay, definitely involving a third party. So for my singles, shifting gears, what's going on with my single Leos, single Leos for this month, what's coming in or what do single Leos need to hear and know what's going on with single Leos, single Leos, seven of pentacles, thinking about the past sick, oh, wanting to move on from the past. Okay. That's good. And there's your card wanting to be happy. Sun card, Leo's major arcana. So seven of pentacles, maybe you were stuck in the past for a long time thinking about past people. Now you're moving on in victory. Uh, some of you could want <laughs> the attention of other people. Some of you could be getting lots of attention from, from people this month. Okay. Feeling happy, wanting to be happy. Oh, look at the bottom of the deck, seven of cups, keeping your options open. Yeah. Yeah. See some of you. Let me say this, you're keeping your options open, but be careful not to be hiding like hidden, hidden resentment, hiding pain is what I want to say. Be careful not to hide your pain. There you are. The strength card is also your major arcana. So be careful, 10 of swords, not to hide the fact that you are still resenting someone or you're hiding the fact that you've been hurt or brokenhearted. And just dating a bunch of people to be dating them, to get over someone. Be careful of that energy coming through as well. What's the advice for single Leos? Advice for single Leos. Advice for single Leos. The dragonfly. Yeah, so some of you are going to a new phase. You're just lighthearted. It says be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. Some of you are adapting, you're changing, you're healing but make sure you're healed all the way. Okay. And be lighthearted, be lighthearted when it comes to dating. 
okay? And then let's get one romance, or not romance, angel advice here. Crystal and indigo children. So some of you could be very uh, spiritual or psychic, I want to say. Uh, some of you may have a deep bond with someone who has kids already as well. Alrighty, Leos, that is your energy for this month. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great month and I will talk to you soon. Bye.